Hi, I'm Liam Dowd, Managing Director, Reuters of Events Sustainable Business, and I am delighted to be joined today by Arthur Littorowitz, Senior Vice President at Procter & Gamble and General Manager of Hair Care Europe, and Jasmine Akpak, Senior Director, Herbal Essences and Responsible Beauty at Procter & Gamble. Um, firstly, welcome to you both. Hi. Hi, Liam. Thank Hi. you for having us. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining us. Um, and you're both here to discuss PNG's Responsible Beauty Initiative and the latest developments as part of PNG's lead partnership role in our Voice of Events Responsible Business Europe. So if you don't mind, I'm going to jump straight into the questions. Um, Please do. Arta, I'll come, I'll come to you first. So can you tell me more about PNG's Responsible Beauty um, Initiative? And I, I, you know, I know you have some ambitious goals, so if you can shed some light on those goals, that'd be great. Yeah, so uh, we are obviously all extremely excited about uh, our responsible beauty goals for 2030. And uh, what uh, I'm planning to do right now is actually to announce a big step we are making to accelerate those goals in uh, healthcare Europe. So uh, we want to make a commitment that uh, as of next uh, calendar year, we will reduce uh, our uh, virgin plastic usage by 50%. Uh, and so at the same time, we will introduce a very innovative uh, packaging system, something which we call the Good Refill. is a, is a system which allows consumers to use uh, the product they love uh, in the beautiful aluminum bottles and the refill pouches. And if consumers decide to use this system, they can uh, contribute to 60% plastic reduction. So this is just the first step, but in our... In our uh, uh, view quite significant step towards more sustainable business. Great. I, I assume is that part of the initiative that uh, PNG has with, with Loop um, and a part of that whole... Uh, that was inspired by Loop, okay. but that's okay. a, a new uh, innovative system which we are launching in healthcare Europe. And it will okay. be available on our brands uh, such as Head & Shoulders, Pantene, uh, uh, Herbal Essences or Rosie. Brilliant. That's great to hear. Um, so can you share a little bit more about the impact? Because that's obviously a vital point to, and you know, of interest to people watching. So what's the impact you're, you're hoping to, to achieve with this? Yeah, the best way to think about the impact is that if we are successful with the commitment which we are making, uh, we will reduce uh, the virgin plastic, which is equivalent of the 300 million uh, standard bottles uh, used for shampoos or conditioners. Uh, across uh, across uh, continents uh, yearly, so that that's quite a meaningful impact. And uh, by doing this, we will will actually uh, uh, impact uh, up to 200 million of households in Europe who use our products. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, Jasmine, I, I'd like to come over to you now, and you just heard Arthur talk about the the house part, household aspect and yeah. you know engaging consumers is going to be one of the biggest challenges that you and others in across industries face um when looking to meet you know meet these aspirational goals so can you tell me how you're hoping your consumers will respond to this today consumers are looking for more sustainable solutions across everything they do and as png we really listened and heard them and want to give them three solutions we want to turn our shampoos and conditioners recyclable we want to reduce, as Lita was mentioning, 50% virgin plastic. But really, really, if I, you ask me what I'm the most proud of about, then it would be the first refill system that we're launching, which comes with a durable aluminum bottle and which comes with a refill pouch, which has 60% less plastic. So we really encourage consumers to reuse and reuse their bottles over and over again and do not dispose it. We hope that many other categories actually follow and offer consumers reuse systems so they can continue the product to use the products they love and do also something good for the environment. Okay, and I, I presume that's one of the bottles there, if you can check, because I haven't seen one yes. yet myself. Okay, this so that's is, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm to look out for. One, and uh, yeah. we will have one for Herbal Essences, for Pantene, and for Aussie. Brilliant, that's brilliant. Okay, thank you. And, and Arthur, why are you introducing the, these changes now? Uh, that's very simple. First of all, we have very ambitious goal for the 2030 and you need to start somewhere. So we want to kind of spearhead the, the whole effort with, uh, you know, the initiative starting in uh, healthcare Europe. Uh, what we will do in, in Europe next calendar year, historically, we needed three to five years to launch this type of innovation, this type of intervention. So it will be a big step. And why we are doing this? Because 
A, we have a commitment uh, which we want to deliver, but B, we all believe that the time to act is right now, not 10 years from now, but now. So, you know, we want to start this work, lead this work, show to others that uh, uh, this is possible and together we can achieve a change in the industry. That's great. And yes, it's um, the change, yeah, the actions we take now will be the, the change we see in five, six, well, three, five, seven years' time. So it's great that, you know, actions have been had now. And I think it's been really encouraging during this, the pandemic that we've seen a number of companies continue to, 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 um, to try to be more responsible and, you know, introducing sustainable measures. So, you know, as I say, there's a lot going on. So what, what, makes, what makes yours different? Uh, first of all, I think about sustainability as a team sport. So I actually don't, uh, don't like to compare companies. You know, every time I, I hear or see the commitment coming from any of our competitors, uh, I'm actually quite happy with it because this raises the, uh, the benchmark for everybody. So, so in that sense, we are all in it. Uh, but wh why, why us? I think we have responsibility because as a, as a company, we touch 5 billion consumers globally. Right? I, we, we are practically present with our product in every single household uh, in Europe. So this is what motivates us, uh, motivates us to act right now. And we are doing this also in a way which is very measurable uh, and, uh, and you know, very uh, structured. We, we think about this as a system solution. So, so really going through each element of uh, responsible beauty, being this quality of our product, safety or sustainability, measuring what we want to deliver and uh, start the journey as fast as possible. That's great. And, and the measurement aspect is, is critical in all this to understand, obviously, you know, the, the, the change and the impact that's being made. And you know, one thing um, you know, I'd be interested to know and dive a little bit on is, you know, Jasmine, we just kind of saw, saw the bottle there. And um, I imagine there's going to be you know, that, that part of that work will be looking to address the, the dilemma around plastic and plastic packaging is very much front and center of many's minds and has been for you know, 18 months or, more, or longer. So can you tell me more about how the PNG new packaging will contribute towards the reduction of plastic? Yeah. So by reducing 50% version of plastic, um, we will take out 10,000 ton of plastic every year out of the system. So 10,000 ton of plastic will not end up being produced at the first place. And we will use reused materials, meaning we will use old bottles, waste, to recreate our new bottles. Um, so Lita was mentioning 300 million bottles. So 300 million bottles will help to be rebuild our new bottles. Additionally, um, with the refill system, with the durable bottle and with the refill, we encourage consumers to drive reuse so that the bottle does not end up in recycling at the first place, but they reuse and reuse. So they really minimize their impact. And, you know, I, I, I think, I can sense some passion there behind it. So what's yeah. driving, yeah, what's driving you? Because obviously it sounds, um, you know, it's great to get understand what's, you know, why you personally care and what's driving you behind this initiative. Yeah, so on, on my... Yeah, you go. So, sorry, sorry, I'll, I'll ask uh, Jasmine first because I can see okay. the passion there and then maybe after I'll come to you, I'll come to you as well because you, you've got some passion. As you can you see, jump we in are on, so both extremely yes. passionate. Yes. I can... I can say that. So maybe, Jasmine, if you, yeah. if you can go first. Yes. Yeah, this topic is important for many few years. But um, when I look at myself personally, I started to become passionate about sustainability since I became a mom. I am a mom of two young children, and I truly want to leave a better place for them. I don't want them to say in a few years down the line, Mom, you didn't do enough. You haven't, your generation hasn't done enough. I want them to say, um, I'm proud of you personally, but also what you have done um, within your work context to minimize the impact and leave a better place. So I am indeed very personally passionate to leave a better planet for my children. That's great. That's great. And um, Arta, I know you wanted to jump in, so maybe you to, to add there. And no. Also maybe, maybe a question around, um, you know, you, you, you're setting some ambitious targets and ambitions for yeah. the team. So you know, what, what's kind of, yeah, what's driving you? Yeah, so maybe you can jump in on that as well, please. Yeah, so, so I, I, as I said, you know, I, I strongly believe this is a, a kind of team sport uh, in a sense that, uh, you know, all, all companies need to join, but, but, but also, you know, more and more employees really, truly wants to join it. So in our own team, we have every year a survey and 90% of people 
are really asking for doing more in the sustainability space. And this is what we are trying to do. And why? Uh, Jasmine has a story. I have my personal story. I, you know, I'm a very committed uh, sailor. Uh, and, uh, you know, I had a chance to sail in different places and obviously I've seen uh, what uh, plastic pollution can do to our beautiful oceans and seas, uh, to the beautiful reefs. And, and you know, I, I have this nagging question, you know, what can I do to make sure that uh, my uh, grandchildren one day will have the opportunity to enjoy the world uh, which I was uh, uh, able to see? So, so that's a personal commitment. But as I said, you know, this, this is... Uh, team game, everybody in our, in our organization really wants to make a difference. And we as a PNG has a responsibility. You know, we are a company which is uh, out there for 180 years. We've been with consumers, consumers use our products for all this time, and they always demanded a superior product from us. This is why we uh, serving this objective. You know, we, we are successful for so many years. But these days superiority includes also the aspect on, you know, superior way, of taking care of the planet. And this is also what we want to do. That's great, that's great. And I think um, I've heard it mentioned a few times where the, the first generation to understand the true impact and we're having and the risk we're, we're causing to our, our Earth and the last generation that can do something about it. So it's great to, great to hear both very impassioned people um, and really in a place where they can drive change and really you know, drive some positive, positive impact. So. Um, firstly, you know, I would like to thank you, firstly, for, for you. Joining, joining us and sharing this, but more importantly, for the passion and for the drive that you, you both have, because it's, it's clear to see, and there's hopefully some great impacts to be had by both you and your team. So, Arthur and Jasmine, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. And thanks for being involved in the event, the Reuters Events Responsible for Business Europe. So, um, and we look forward to keeping abreast of how, the impacts you have over the coming months Absolutely. and years. Absolutely. Good luck with it. Fingers crossed. There is a lot of work going on and uh, we need all, this, all the support needed. And Thank the you. That's great. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.